Hello, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 76. We're going to look at the chart legend today, and it's this area in the chart here where it's essentially a key that says, hey, the blue columns here represent April, the red represent May, that kind of thing. And in a variety of different chart uh, types, there's a legend there to tell you uh, what's being represented in the chart. And as you probably come to expect now, if we go to Chart Tool, the Layout tab, here's where the legend menu is. And you can obviously turn it off. Right now it's shown at the right. You can easily move it to the top, to the left, to the bottom. You can overlay it, but that gets mighty hard to see. Um, let me move back to the left just to show you something. Just because I put it to the left doesn't mean I'm stuck necessarily here. I can highlight this and drag it up here or a little bit this way. Or You, you have a little bit of flexibility in terms of where you put the legend. The other thing I want to show you in this video is another formatting trick. So as you can probably imagine, you can right click here and format legend. Here are the different positions, top, bottom, left, right, and top, right, and you can with or without overlap the chart. We spent some time on fill and border colors, border styles. Let's play with shadow just for a minute today. So what I want to do is there are, right now I'm at no shadow. I'm going to an outer shadow, um, diagonal bottom right. And let's drag this over here and you know, maybe it's going to come over here so you can see it better. So here's what we're going to play with. We're going to make, uh, you know what, let's do one thing to make this easier to see. I am going to, let's make that legend purple so you can see it. Yeah, that's good enough for now. So there's the legend. Now what we're going to do is right click format legend and put a shadow on that. And if we make the shadow bigger, you can see it's black. Maybe if I make the shadow, uh, you know, now yellow is harder to see. We'll just go with black. There's a black shadow there. You can change the size. Um, watch, you can change the angle. Like if it's the shadow appearing from the sun, you can say, hey, I'm going to make it go all the way over that way and back over this way. You can move the distance. Can you see how the shadow is going down underneath my UHC note there? You can do all kinds of things with a shadow. These are outer shadows. If you do an inner shadow, see now the shadow is inside the box. So um, the size isn't going to change, but the angle, if I come over here, now you make the angle over there, now it's on the side, now it's on the top, now it's a little of both. You can move the shadow around depending on where you want the sun's perspective to be, if you will. And again, let's do it from, well, let's go this way and put it on top. And um, then you can move the distance and kind of put it more and more in shadow if you want. Those are the outer and inner shadows and how those things kind of work. Just, uh, again, fancy ways you can play with formatting to make things look exactly like you want. That's Chart Legends. Stay tuned. Next time we'll go through this data labels thing and show you how you can use that to add uh, more information to your chart. Thanks for watching.